What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be installing some extended studs on the skyline and the front. I'm only doing the front today. Um, these are 20 millimeters uh, longer than the factory ones. Got me a wheel stud installer. I'm going to be going to a little bit thicker of a spacer and uh, pretty much want to bring these front wheels out a little bit. So I think they're, they're not sitting the way I want to. The back ones look pretty good. But I got like a lot of camber in the front and uh, I got some room to bring this tire further out this way. And later on when I get some different wheels, uh, these extended studs, you know, they're going to allow me to throw some spacers on there and get the fitment kind of exactly where I want it. Because I might be doing some aftermarket fenders here in the future, some bigger ones because the GTSD ones are kind of, kind of too slick, kind of thin looking. So anyways, these are about uh, half the price as some uh, ARPs. Um, they seem like, uh, this is the first time I've ever bought anything by uh, GK Tech, but I know they make some drift parts, so see how this goes. Pretty simple to install. Um, go ahead and just pull the wheels off and uh, show you how to install them real quick. This tool's going to help out a lot. Alright, so today's video is sponsored by on for You. They sent me this work light to try out. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you real quick because this is perfect because it's pretty dark under there and uh, they've uh, They've watched the channel before and they've seen me use one of these little baby work lights I have, so they decided to send me this dual work light to try out, show on the channel. Comes with some paperwork. Scare. Dang, this thing is a lot bigger than what I'm used to working with. Woo. I'm used to working with just like one of these that's like half as big, so. That is really, really gonna help out. There's two of them. What do we got here? How many lumens is this thing? 6,500 lumens times two. Damn. Put this thing together real quick. And, uh, light up my workspace for me. It's impossible to do with one hand. Super easy to put together. I mean, yeah, you can get it and kind of if you're working on the floor like me. Definitely have one pointed. I don't know exactly where you need it. Damn, check that out. This. Dang. Dang. All right, cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull the caliper off, pull the rotor off, and then uh, show you how to do it. Okay, so I've got the caliper off, the rotor off, and usually on the hub or the dust shield, there's usually a spot you can kind of see, like right here. This is actually made uh, made for removing these studs so nothing uh, interferes here. So the studs are just pressed in. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hammer these guys right out. Just hit them with the hammer until they come out. Get your new one, slide it right in here. And then we're gonna use the little tool to pull them on and press them on there. So what I got here is I got some extra lug nuts. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of them to actually make uh, the surface area a little bit bigger on the stud here, so when I hit it, it comes right out. Okay, not too bad, pretty simple. So just get your, get your new one. Slide it in there, and then we're gonna get our tool. You can kind of see, really see the difference on how much longer these guys are gonna be. It's a lot safer to run spacers like this. All right, so here's our install tool. And now, from the package, it just looks like a piece of metal, like a big spacer, but it's not. It actually has a bearing inside of it, okay? So when you go to stick this thing on here, okay, you're gonna use a lug nut. You're gonna tighten it on there. Okay. 
And you can do this with the impact, or you can do this by hand. And when you tighten it on there, this whole thing will actually, it'll be able to spin because it has that bearing in there and actually pull, pull the stud and where it needs to be, okay? And these little bitty lug nuts are a little scary to use, but it should work out fine. <laughs> yeah, these, this thing I think is like, it's around $22 and you're like, God damn, $22 for um, a piece of metal, but it actually has a bearing in it, okay? So it's a little more than what you think. You just can't see it from the way the pa it's packaged. So we're gonna stick that on there. Get the lug nut. You're gonna want to use some lug nuts that you know you don't really care about. Uh, don't use your pretty lug nuts. Actually went on really fast, like it's crazy, crazy fast. Like look, if you look behind here, it's already pressed on pretty easily. No problem. No. Do one more. Get your new one, stick it on there. Get your tool, stick it on there. Get your lug nut, stick it on there. Spin it on there. Get your impact. Got right on there. All right, well that's pretty much it. Uh, it was actually really quick. It's just a matter of the thing that takes you the longest is taking the brakes apart early, and. Um, Go ahead and throw the rotor back on here. And cool. Get my spacer here. Let's see what it's gonna look like. So this one is a 12 mil, and uh, it's hub centric. So we're gonna have to build 12 mil. Not much, but you know, now I can do all kinds of things. Like I, I can work with 20 millimeters. So. So if I were to do something like this, uh, that's what, 17? So, sit here and play around with it now without having to worry about uh, the wheel falling off on me. All right, so one thing you gotta watch out for is if you're using some closed in lug nuts like these uh, and your studs are super duper long, uh, you don't want them to bottom out in, the, in your lug nuts, so. But these are gonna work perfect because they're not too long. You can actually get the studs even longer than what I did. I just got them at 20 mil because I uh, figured that was going to be good enough. Yeah, um, in the future I'll probably end up getting some opened in uh, lug nuts, some better ones. These are just what I got now. It's a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Alright, well that's about it. I mean, it looks good. Uh, I want to thank on for you for sending me the work lights, man. Those things are really going to come in handy. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. I'll uh, leave a link down in the description box for them down below. And that's pretty much it. If you, uh, you want to get one of the tools or something like that, the install tool, it's over there. Uh, link for that down below. And uh, yeah, you guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend. Man, I'm out of breath, man. The garage is getting hot. <laughs>